7 out of 10 ain't bad. What's up everybody? I'm Tiny Rose and welcome to my young little channel over here. Now, if you are here, it's because you want to know how to get longer, thicker, healthier hair, juicier curls, and I'm here to tell you how I got it done. Okay, so these are things that I actually did when I was transitioning and what I do now currently after my bleach damage. These are things that I actually do. I didn't just Google stuff and just threw them on this video. These are things that actually helped me and it's gonna help you too. Okay, so the first thing I did, and if you are a flat iron junkie, you're probably not gonna like this, but I had to put the flat iron away for, I don't know, maybe like six months to a year. And it was tough. Ooh, it hurt, it hurt to put the flat iron away, but in order for you to get the healthy hair, in order for you to get the juicy curls, you have to put it down for a while. All that straightening is just frying your hair. Even though it may still be kind of long and still be kind of thick, imagine what your hair could be if you just put the flat iron down for a little bit. The second thing I had to do was chill on the dyeing, the bleaching, the experimenting, like just chill on all of that stuff, all those chemicals, all of those ammonias and peroxides, um, I don't think I bleached at the time, but I bleached last year and I know not to bleach this year. It damages your hair. It doesn't help you get it longer and thicker like you want it. So just, just chill out on all the chemicals. The third thing I did was increase my water. And that's pretty much just like a general thing to do anyway. Drinking more water flushes everything out of the system. It's just good for your body overall. So it's definitely going to be good for your hair growth. Take some vitamins. A multivitamin isn't gonna hurt. Um, be careful with the biotin. I heard that it breaks people out. I didn't experience that for myself when I was taking the biotin, but you know, multivitamins are not gonna uh, hurt you. It'll, it'll help you even though it doesn't seem like it's helping you. You can also get the proper vitamins and minerals that you need in your foods. You can juice your fruits and vegetables if you just don't wanna eat them because I do it, I don't wanna eat them. And if you would like a video on what kind of juices that I throw together in order for me to get those vitamins and minerals that I was talking about earlier, I will go ahead and make a video if you would like, so you can just go ahead and leave a comment down below. So the next set of tips I'm going to separate into two categories which I find that are essential for long, thick, healthy hair, and that is scalp stimulation and length retention. Your hair is going to grow at the speed that your hair grows, depending on your diet, your genetics, what's going on with you medically. But the most important thing I feel like is the length retention. But scalp stimulation doesn't hurt. And you never know, that could be the little boost that you need to get that hair growth jump started. There's nothing wrong with washing your hair. There's absolutely nothing wrong with getting away that dirt and buildup in your hair. The thing is, you got to put that moisture back and you don't necessarily need to get rid of that dirt and products out of your hair every day, every other day. Once a week is just fine. Once a month is just fine. I like to do mine once a week. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing. Um, that gets my, my scalp stimulation growing, going and it works. Now, I haven't been as consistent with the scalp massages as I feel like I need to be in order to report a result to you. All I can say is right now, the scalp massages, they just feel good. It just It's just nice to do. My hair really, really likes castor oil and peppermint oil mixed together. I, will, I could make a video for you guys if you would like to see how I go about doing that. It's also been helping with my dry itchiness that I tend to get with the weather changes or when it gets too cold out here in LA, which is like, I don't know, 59 is cold, but that's neither here nor there. The scalp massages help with both dry and itchy scalp and hopefully hair growth, we'll see. I'll put an updated video soon. Length retention is basically focusing on the ends of your hair. This is the oldest part of your hair. And if you can keep this strong and healthy and moisturized, as your hair grows, it's just gonna stay, you, this part is gonna stay, it's not gonna break off, and it's just gonna be longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. It's detangling your hair from ends to root, wet. Don't you ever detangle your hair dry. That is a big no-no. You are just breaking off them ends, honey. I don't care what you think or say or do or somebody else told you or they said you should do it dry. Don't you ever, ever detangle your hair dry, ever. 
I detangle about once a week, maybe twice a week with a dim end brush or with my fingers. And if you don't, your hair is going to get knotted up and it's going to break off. So you got to detangle. And use natural hair products. Now that seems kind of like an obvious at this point, unless you are just now getting into this natural hair stuff. Now, products without parabens, silicones, and sulfates are the best for your hair. And because this whole thing has gotten so big and so major, most of the hair product lines will tell you right on the bottle, like these three ingredients are not in this it's all natural is this that and the third and it just made it's made it easier over the years instead of having to like really heavy look at the ingredients on the back of the bottom the parabens the silicones the sulfates they dry out your hair you don't need it sometimes i use products with sulfate in it but i'm moisturized heavy so i think i'm good deep conditioning that's kind of one of my favorite things to do is to deep condition my hair I get that done about once a week and I just throw in whatever hair mask deep conditioner or do a do-it-yourself deep conditioner leave it on for at least two hours while I'm just doing stuff around the house so you know I'm killing two birds with one stone and it's good it moisturizes your hair it really gets in there gets into that hair follicle and makes sure that it is soft and silky and and ready for this this length to pop off I sleep on a satin pillow with a satin bonnet or a satin scarf in order to protect the ends of my hair and it doesn't take out all the moisture that a cotton pillow would do. I think now at this point it's weird if I don't have a scarf. Even if I have a satin pillow, I have a scarf on. And moisturize, 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 moisturize. And that's not just with product, I mean with water. My hair is wet every single day for the most part every single day whether it's from doing my curly hair routine or using a spray bottle i spritz my hair with water or wet it every day in order to keep it moisturized that's really the only thing that's going to keep that length retained don't be afraid of water ladies it's not drying out your hair water is your bff keep a spray bottle keep your hair wet i'm telling you i'm telling you water is the key to everything inside and out I hope these tips are helpful for you. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment box. If you have a video request about any of the tips that I mentioned in this video, leave that in the comment box too. Subscribe, thank you for watching, and happy hair growing.